hello, hello, I'm Benjamin Cello. Come on in, my very special friend. There's Lolly Popular and her cheerful chums, Professor Wordsworth and his hungry bookworms. There's Cowboy Roy and the animals too. We're so happy to be friends with you. I want you to see something. It's right in here in the wonderful wardrobe. Woo. Woo! That was heavy. Can you guess what's inside that box? It contains characters from one of the most famous stories ever told. It's a true story, and it goes back thousands of years. It's an important story, too, because it tells us a lot about God and man and the importance of righteousness. It also tells us a lot about the earth and the animals. Can you guess what story it is? Hmm? I'll tell you a riddle. A great deluge. A floating zoo. One righteous man to begin again. Two birds to fly. A rainbow in the sky. A promise told still rings from of old. Now you've heard my riddle. Can you guess what it is? Hmm? If you come with me to Penny Whistle Park, you'll hear all about it. I'm going to use all the characters in my box to tell the story to Lolly Popular and her cheerful chums. Would you like to come along? Let's go! We'll go through the blue door to the land of the baptized imagination, Penny Whistle Park. to be back in Penny Whistle Park. Ugh. Wow, that's a big box, Benjamin Cello. What's inside? It's a surprise, David. Oh, this is You want to see so the backdrops I painted? Yeah. <laughs> see if y'all can guess what's inside my box. Let's go see the backdrops. Oh. See, look, here's the land. And the darkness. That's amazing. And the rain. And the oh, rainbow. That's beautiful. Good work, Lolly Popular. Thank you, Benjamin Cello. Are we going to see a show? What's in your box? Is it something for us? I want to see. Wait, one question at a time. Benjamin Cello is going to tell us an amazing story. Is it a true story? It is a true story. And it goes back to ancient times. Oh, wow. I was just telling my friends a riddle to help them guess what was inside my box. Do you want to hear my riddle too? Oh, yes, 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 yes. All right, here it is. A great deluge, a floating zoo, one righteous man to begin again, two birds to fly, 
A rainbow in the sky, a promise told, still rings from of old. Now you've heard my riddle. Can you guess what it is? I know what it is. Oh, tell us, tell us, tell us. It's the story of Noah and the Great Flood. You're oh. right, David. Good work, David. <laughs> the story of Noah is one of the most important stories in the history of Earth. It's in the Bible. Please tell us all about it. We love a story, especially a true story. We're so excited to hear it. Remember the words of Jesus. Anyone who has ears to hear, let, let them, them hear. hear. A long time ago when the earth was young, there were all kinds of animals playing in the sun. Elephants and bunnies and chickens and giraffes. Cows and dogs and silly sheep who love to bat. Cows and dogs and silly sheep who love to bat. <laughs> there was a man named Noah, the righteous one. And Noah's wife named Noah and their three sons. Ham, Sham, and Japheth and their three wives. And Noah found favor in the good Lord's eyes. And Noah found Noah, this has got to end. I'll destroy the earth and begin again. Except for you, Noah, you're a righteous man. Except for you, Noah, you're a righteous man. Take your wife and sons and their wives too. Noah, my man, I have chosen you to build an ark like a floating zoo with every kind of animal two by two. With every kind of animal two by two. Every kind of animal two by two. So Noah built the ark and the animals came, the big and the little, the wild and the tame, the clean and the unclean, a boy and a girl. Then God shut the door and the water world. Forty days and nights, the rains pour down. The fountains of the deep rose all around. But Noah and his family, the animals too, were safe and dry on the floating zoo. We're safe and dry on the floating zoo. We're safe and dry on the floating zoo. So when the rain stopped pouring and the water dried up, God put a rainbow in the sky above A covenant promise to every man That he would never ever flood the earth again He, he would, would never, never ever flood, flood the earth, earth again. again He would never ever flood the earth again So when the rain comes pouring a splashing down and all your high hopes seem about to drown Remember that God has made it plain The promise in the rainbow will follow the rain The promise in the rainbow will follow the rain The promise in the rainbow will follow the rain The promise in the rainbow will follow the rain The promise in the rainbow will follow the rain Thank you, David. The promise in the rainbow will follow the rain. That's good news. I love a rainbow. So do I. Me too. Beautiful, aren't they? So full of color. And every time I hear the story of Noah and the Great Flood, I am reminded of the fact that God sealed his promise with a rainbow in the sky. You know, Benjamin Cello, we learned a song about the colors of the rainbow. You did? In a song that Lolly Popular taught us. Can you sing it now? Oh, 
lollipop is a queen. Please sing a song for Benjamin Shella. Yes, let's do it. Beautiful song. You know, I've so loved getting to share the story of Noah with all of you, and I want you to keep my ark as a gift. You're welcome. Every time you look at it, I want you to always remember that God has sealed His promise to us with a rainbow. We won't forget. Well, I best be off. My friends and I will be back, though. We'll miss you, Benjamin Cello. We'll miss you too. Bye. Farewell, everyone. Bye. Goodbye. I think it's been rainy while we've been at Penny Whistle Park. Wow, that's some loud thunder. But don't be afraid, the storm will pass soon enough. From now on, when you see a rainbow, remember the story of Noah and the promise of God. Until next time. Friends have the best time together And no matter the weather Friends are friends for forever it's goodbye for now Till we meet again Remember God loves you And so do I And so do I My friend Splashing down, and all your high hopes seem about to drown. Remember that God has made it plain. The promise in the rainbow will follow the rain. The promise in the rainbow will follow the rain. The promise in the rainbow will follow.